The weekly prayer meditation is written for the San Diego First Church of the Brethren. Each week a scripture and contemplative thought is written for the congregation to focus on as a faith community. Our scripture for this week is from Genesis chapter 1 verse 4. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. There are many references to light and darkness in the Bible. Light is usually considered good, and darkness is considered its opposite. Opposites make up a big part of what we experience as reality. Light and dark, cold and hot, rich and poor, are all connected to each other and define each other. There is no experience in life where we can't find these contradiction of opposites. There are good people and there are bad people. We judge one against the other and base our attitude toward them as either good or bad. When things are going great, we experience emotions that we call good. When bad things happen, we experience emotions that we call bad. Notice again the contradiction of opposites. Because we have an understanding of God as good, we can become confused when we experience the adverse side of things. We are all living right now in uncertain times, where this pandemic is causing the opposites we face and causing us discomfort. We can become confused and feel like Job who declared, the land of gloom and chaos where light is like darkness. All these opposites can cause us to get stuck on the unpleasant side of the matter. Let us remember that these experiences are the result of the relative side of life, which uses its opposites to define each other. The good news is that there is a greater reality, which helps us to live above these apparent opposites, and that reality is the absolute, or what we know as God. When we focus our eyes on God, we receive the confidence to live in harmony with opposites. Open your heart now and let God lift your fears so God can fill you with the freedom to live in harmony with what is. We can know God beyond our experiences, which leads to peace. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. The words of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, thank you that you are more than any experience I have in this life. Your steadfast love is always with me, and your hand upon me will never be withdrawn. This is a fearful time, and my heart is feeling unrest. Even when I doubt, I know you still hear my prayers and act on my behalf. Lord, embolden my faith and give me the confidence to know you are always there for me and the ones that I care about. Thank you for your tender love and grace, I pray. Amen.